When do you get paid from Airbnb? So somebody's booked your place, they're about to stay in your place, but when does the money actually show up to the most important place, which is your bank account? When does the money show up? So in this video, let's find out how that money gets there and when you're gonna see money show up. Hey there, my name is Mike Fritz. I'm the founder of Titanium Capital Investments and Power Up Real Estate. Our greatest passion is helping crazy people just like you and me invest in real estate. Because let me tell you, the real estate game is very diverse. And if you want to start buying properties and leveraging this powerful, powerful opportunity, then you're in the right place. You're in the right place. And this video is brought to you by our Real Estate Ignition Inner Circle. It's our personal mastermind where we help students get to the next level. If you're interested in that, there's a link in the description. Click that link. We have a team member that wants to hop on the phone, get to know you, get to know your story. What is your goals? Where are you want to head? And we'll see how we can get you there in the Real Estate Ignition Inner Circle. So click that link and our team will hop on the phone with you. And as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash that bell notification and that thumbs up button. And uh, no, wait, the bell notification's up there. Smash it up there. Smash it down there, they ain't no bell down there. And so make sure you smash that bell notification and uh, you get notified every time we do a video. Let's get to the content. So when you're looking at your short-term rental, when does money actually show up? And it depends on different sites. Different booking sites have different arrival rates for their money. So if you're booking through Airbnb, you're gonna get a portion of that when the stay starts and a portion of that when the stay is over. So they're gonna give you in the 75% range on the front end, but they're gonna hold a portion of that on the back end, and then once the stay is over, they release the rest of that. So that's why on Airbnb and any of these sites, it takes a little while to get the revenue showing up regularly because it takes a while to get the bookings regulated and the bookings coming in at a rate that, that, that will keep the money coming. So understand money shows up at the beginning of a stay and at the end of a stay. Uh, in the Airbnb world. And usually it will stay in the week of the stay. Sometimes you'll see it the week of the stay, not even the day, but it will come that week of the stay. And then right after the stay, they'll send the rest of that money to you. But that's how the release rate goes for online booking sites. Now, the cool thing about direct booking sites is you can, you can set your own rules. If they book directly through you, you can take your money right away. You can take your money right away and you can do the full stay. The thing about a hotel, why a lot of hotel uh, people love being in the hotel business, you pay for your entire stay before you ever, uh, before your head hits the pillow at night, right? On a long-term rental, we get paid every month, but the next month, you know, they pay two, three, four days late, and you know, then maybe it's a little later the next month, but the idea with a hotel is you don't get to lay your head down unless you pay, right? It's the same thing here. You, in, with direct booking, you can take the full weight of the money up front, even with a deposit. It's what rental car places do, right? You get a $250 deposit that they get back when the car is returned in one piece. You can do that through direct booking. You have a $250 deposit that's returned when you leave and the place looks up to par and everything is good. And that protects you against any damages inside the property. But your money's gonna show up the week of the stay and at the end of the stay. And if you have a stay that's multiple months, that can get a little funky. Sometimes you're gonna get 75% right up front. We just had a $7,500 booking, a three month booking on one of our, our places through Airbnb. We got like 6,500 right up front and we'll get a thousand at the end of the three months. So it's the idea that you're gonna get, a, you're gonna get the lion's share on the front end, then you're gonna get a portion on the back end. But then there's a whole different idea of furnish finder sites. So a furnish finder site is a site that has traveling nurses, traveling doctors, traveling professionals that are looking for furnished places. If they wanna rent your place, they go directly through you or directly through a manager. So you dictate how the payment is. It's month, it can be month to month, it can be two months at a time, it can be weekly, it can be anything you set up so your money shows up at a rate you feel comfortable with. So again, it really depends on the site. If you're talking Airbnb, you're gonna get 75% of it on the front end and 25% and when, uh, when the stay is over. And again, that's why you have to plan on the front end just for some time to get those bookings regulated so you can start seeing uh, your revenue show up. But this is the power of the Airbnb and short-term rental market is you get paid some on the front end before they ever even stay, just like a hotel. So again, you're gonna make your money on the front end and you're gonna make some on the back end but you have to understand the regulation of that income. So you're gonna see some of it and then you're gonna see more of it from the same stay. So every single month, if you have monthly bookings, if they're booking multiple months at a time, they'll want you, you'll get a big chunk up front. 
Or if they're booking month to month and they want to book one month through Airbnb, which this happens sometimes, they'll book one month through Airbnb and then they'll communicate with you directly and say, hey, can I just do the month to month with you? If you do that, understanding those months they stay in there won't be covered under Airbnb's uh, protection, but you can, take, uh, you can take a monthly payment right at the beginning of each month and you can get all of your money and not have to wait till the stay is over. So there's a lot of ways to get your revenue through the short-term game, but just know you're gonna get some on the front end and some on the back end. And again, this video is brought to you by our Real Estate Ignition Inner Circle, which is a group of crazy people just like you buying deals or getting deals. One of our students just locked in her first Airbnb deal. Another student has just did their first lease option. Another student just closed on a first eight, their eight unit, first eight unit building. This is the place people come to start getting deals done. And if that sounds uh, like something you're interested in, click the link below. Our uh, team member will hop on the phone with you and we'll get a little feel for your story and we'll tell you what the Real Estate Ignition Inner Circle is all about. And as always, make sure you stick around and watch a ton of our content because our content really is positioned and was built for people just like you. Have a great day.